Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you four different software outside of your DAW that will help you with your workflow and is super useful. Uh, depends on the type of music you're making, of course. Uh, and of course, uh, I have to say that all these software, I did not get sponsored. I just purchased myself and I find them useful and I want to share with you guys. And if you like the content of this video, make sure you like, subscribe and uh, share with your friends to help me making more contents and share more tips with you guys. So let's get into the uh, four different um, software I want to talk about. First of all, something that everyone knows, it's uh, I assume everyone, everyone knows, it's Dropbox. Why do I need Dropbox? Sometimes when I'm bouncing something, I have more than one computer at home. Uh, sometimes I use this computer for certain different editing and I, I just want to have something that uh, I can, let's say I do something at home. And when I am on a go, I want to have access to that file. I can just upload it or bounce it directly into Dropbox. Or for example, I purchased some um, uh, plugins or something I have to install. After installing it into one computer, I just put it in the Dropbox so that I can access it from another computer without downloading the same uh, installer again. Uh, I can just install it you know, directly from Dropbox into my computer. So it's very useful. I'm, I'm sure you know what I mean. So Dropbox is one of them. Second one is Audio Converter. Sometimes when we are um, uh, working with different clients and the DAW may not recognize certain type of audio file, for example, flag, I don't know, for example, okay, uh, then you need a, a converter that can, you know, convert that sound into, um, into uh, let's say, MP3 or WAV or something that your dog can recognize. So something like this, audio converter, uh, free, usually there are free version online, so you can go check it out. I think uh, it's something outside of the DAW that can be useful in your workflow and you may want to have it uh, in your computer so that, you know, if you don't use it, don't use it, but if you use it, you don't have to search for it and download it again, you know. So something that you want to consider. Now, third one is called Sonic Visualizer. What the heck is that? Okay, let me show you. When I'm analyzing a, a song, let's say I have to recreate a song or, or uh, listen to a song and I really like that chord progression and I don't want to have time to, you know, really analyze it. I just want to have a rough idea or, you know, something that I want to show the client. Okay, this is the chord I use and, you know, they just can't tell what, what are you talking about. So this sonic visualizer, you can just throw your WAV file into it and then there is certain, you know, reason transform chord estimate. Okay, it will do that for you and it show you what chords there are. And of course, there are different uh, software available that can do that as well. For example, Decoda is by Herbishaw. It's another one, okay, that you can have an idea right now. You see this? It show you the chords, the chord change and all that. And you can use this to show your clients if they are, you know, questioning about you know, uh, something, okay. And what else? So besides the Dakota, the Sonic Visualizer, Sonic Visualizer is actually free, okay. And there is like Melodyne. Melodyne, the newest version has that function as well, the chord detector, okay. Something that um, pretty useful sometimes. Now, uh, talked about that. Next thing is the key finder. Okay, sometimes you want to quickly find out what key it is. Let's say if you don't have certain plugins, because I know, um, uh, let's see, Hornet, uh, Hornet, key, 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 song key. Okay, ta da! So it will analyze it as you go. Okay, but let's say if you just want to want to find a key right away. Okay, this is the key finder. I think this one is free as well. You just drag audio file here and then it will analyze it for you. Run, analyze, please analyze this for me. Analyzing E minor. Okay, quick and easy, right? Just give you a rough idea what key it is, okay? 
So it's, this one is free as well, and it will help you in your workflow if you want to do something quickly without listening to the whole song and try to determine, hmm, I think this is E minor, you know, like if you're on a go, I think every second counts, you know, if you want to be very productive and efficient, you know, sometimes these tools may get you a very good starting point, okay? I'm not saying that you have to rely on them all the time, and especially the chord detection, it may not be 100% correct, but it's a good starting point. Gives you uh, some idea. Let's say you, you, you know, you, sometimes when you are hearing something really funny chord change there, what is it? So give you a good starting point to figure it out. Anyway, so four different software outside of the door of your door, uh, I think it's helpful with your workflow. So hopefully you like this video's content. If you like what I suggest, if you like tips or uh, anything about this video, please like and subscribe and share with your friends and uh, help me make more uh, content and share with you guys. Okay, so today that's it. And I hope you like it. See you next time. Ciao.